We should, uh, met the, this is my cousin Michael, traveled all the way from Portland, Oregon to experience Morocco with me. So appreciate you coming on this journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, they saw you were a little nervous in Marrakesh. They made a lot of conclusions about your personality and way of being, mentality. Mostly was just very tired and worried about my luggage, but uh, I'm all good now, very relaxed. That's what someone said. Looks like he's still worried about his luggage. Then someone said in the driving video that you're already more relaxed and that was yeah. good. Like that was the next day after we got the bag, so that's good. But one helpful comment we had was, hey, have him try Moroccan sodas, uh, palms in Hawaii. So went to the shop a couple of days ago. We've been meaning to do this for a while. We got palms in Hawaii and this special flavor, uh, pineapple Hawaii. I've had all these before, but it's his first time drinking them. Uh, I think he's most excited about the apple soda. So I think we begin with that, huh? Yeah, in Germany, my favorite was the uh, Lyft apple soda. So I'm excited to try the difference. I wonder if it's both made by Coca-Cola. I think it is. Lyft is Coca-Cola. I think it is, yes. Coca-Cola runs the world. Yeah, they got the water supply. <laughs> no, that's Nestle. Nestle's got the water supply. Let's back a little bit. There we are. Thank you for the warm welcome, Stars uh, Morocco. So here's your palms. Out of a tea glass. That might be a little bit much for a sample, but I think you can handle it. Oh, I'll be fine. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite Moroccan drink or soda. You've been drinking a lot of mint tea. Yeah, I've been enjoying that. It's nice, um, especially in the afternoon and evening where I don't want something as strong as a coffee. Um, but then just, yeah, refreshing mint also. It's nice for relaxation as well. But And a lot of sugar. It smells very good. It's definitely sweeter than Lyft. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't know if I could drink an entire bottle of it, but... What about a can? Yeah, I probably could, as long as it was cold. Oh, it definitely is a little bit of a sugar shock. Yeah, like the tea and but, your chicken pastilla last night. I don't mm -hmm. think you're expecting it to be so sweet. Yeah, the pastilla definitely caught me off guard, but I did enjoy it very much. and It was uh, very tasty, very fresh as well. And say with Brie Watts, those are good. Oh, yeah, I'm obsessed so with those now. I want to try and make those at home. <laughs> yeah, I think I get the work I do. So here's my palms. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's super sweet, though. It's like, yeah, you smell the apple before even tasting it. It's got quite the, quite the scent to it. So they have like a percent of fruit juice on it. Or yeah. Three point something. I don't know. It's all in Arabic. 2022 Coca-Cola. It's E296, E331, E330, E202, E211, E955, E950, E150D. Ah, I like in America, we actually name the things. It sounds less intense than all these E's, you know. You don't find that on the... Yeah. America, levels, you, you don't have any fruit juice in these sodas, though. Not one drop. No, I don't think so. I don't see any percentages or... The only thing I saw was uh, there. The picture of the apples? No, up below there. Oh, no, that's just how many calories per... Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. Percent of your sugar or something. Really? I would yeah. think it'd be a higher percentage than three and a half. They say, finally your cousin changed his blue t-shirt. Me and my girlfriend from Russia, watch your vids. I am a Moroccan, love your videos. There were, well, you lost your suitcase, like... I had to wear the same shirt two days in a row, and then I have a couple of blue shirts, so. I gave you some shorts, so that's what you were wearing in yeah, the yeah. last video. Oh, you have to try Moroccan hammam. I forgot that was yeah, on the yeah. agenda today. Whew. I forgot about that. Let's see if we can fit that It's in. still doable. Yeah. It's still doable. Yeah. It's 3 o'clock. It's doable. But yeah, good point. Moroccan hammam would be... Yeah. Uh, Thank you for the reminder. Yeah. Um, we go to the real hammam or we go to tourist hammam. Choice is yours. The real hammam is like, uh, you kind of sit on the floor. Might be less comfortable. Mm -hmm. But it's it's the real experience, so I recommend that. Mm -hmm. My favorite soda in Morocco at the time was called La Sigogne. 
I've never seen that one. Must be gone. But yeah, this is not something I ever order or really crave. Palms. Drinkable, but... Yeah. I've had way worse. It's like, I'd rather have apple juice. Kind of reminds me of the, um, in America, the sparkling cider you had, you would have at holidays instead of, like, sparkling wine or when yeah, you were a like kid. Yeah, like the grape juice or... Yeah, oh, yeah. that. It reminds me a little of that. Yeah, not the... Hamama Rockin', one dollar. I told him it'd be, like, three with soap and you get a little glove to scrub. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I think it's about three when you get all the equipment ready. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Um, we're gonna put down here. There's still some in here left for Andrea. We got 74 people watching right now, but it's cool. It's Hello, good. <laughs> uh, Hawaii, the classic. So we have coconut, orange, and uh, passion, passion fruit. Passion fruit is one of my all time favorite flavors. I like cooking and baking with it quite a bit, so I'm excited to try this. Let's hope you enjoy the Hawaii. Quite I, tropical. I tried to grow a plant too, but from where I'm from, it, it does not do very well, so it died. So. All right. It's quite cold where I uh, live. Not like here. No. And it surprises you how the Moroccans dress. Yeah, so. everyone is in uh, sweatshirts and long pants, and I'm sweating in my shorts and blue shirt. <laughs> Not ever. I see some Moroccans dressed like us too, but they might be going to play football. All right, Hawaii. Cheers. It smells great. Hmm. Again, very sweet. <laughs> I like the flavor though. It's nice. Yeah, I like that over palms any day. I agree. Hawaii over palms. I think the tropical Hawaii is better than the palms. Yeah. It's just got more going on with it. More ease. You could really taste the yeah. ease, which is nice. Again, I'm not, like, the biggest sugar person in the world, so it would definitely be something for me to split with each of you. But Yeah, we got three cans now. That's, uh, that's too much for the two of us. It's like going to a gas station back home. What is that? You the, get big, one soda. the big gulp, the 32, yeah. 64 ounces. Which is still more than three of these cans. Correct, yes. A big gulp that's, you know, like two liters pretty much, and this is not even a liter. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me a big gulp is like eight of these cans? Sounds about right. But it'd be, how much is a big gulp? Under two dollars, right? Dollar fifty. It's a deal. Yeah, 15 dirham. 15 dirham for the big gulp. The the Moroccans living in America know what we're, we're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's a huge, huge soda from 7-Eleven, or Marathon has them too, the Polar Plunge. Not the Polar Plunge, I forgot what it's called. Not real sugar too, it's high fructose corn syrup, even worse for you. Yeah, but it's strong. Very strong. All right. Uh, thanks for dropping by Block on the Rock uh, and wishing us to enjoy our sodas. This is uh, Pineapple Hawaii. Any plan to visit Oasis and Auntie Atlas? Didn't we pass by that? Yeah, we drove through some. We stopped in Scoro. Yeah, we, we, we explored the Scoro Oasis, and that was very cool for me. I um, felt very relaxed there. Just, it was quiet. It was, yeah. um, after driving through so much desert, it was nice to see some green, um, just the fruit coming off the trees. Yeah, they're harvesting olives mm -hmm. at the time, just banging the trees, watching them drop. That video will be coming soon. Uh, we drove by a lot of oasis yeah. on the way back from the desert. So many. Uh, Agda's big one. And a lot, I don't even know the name. There was, yeah, a lot of small ones. I mean, I guess that's kind of the way you would ever live there in the past. Is like, mm -hmm. you have to have an oasis. Or else you will not live there. Uh, people tell me, if you go to Marrakesh, try a drink sold in Gem Elfna called... Hudanjal. I think that's some sort of uh, I'll, I'll special it. coffee. All right, let's try this pineapple Hawaii. I like this one. Last time someone brought this to the couscous party we had with mm -hmm. Nusha and Masha and company and Hanain, and uh, they really like this. So hope you enjoy this harito vibe. Legitimately tastes like the juice you get in the canned pineapple carbonated. 
and that's not a that's bad good. thing. That's good, yeah, it's good. This is actually pretty good. That's the best one out of all I of them. think so. I... That's my favorite. The original Hawaii's pretty good, too, but Bomb's it, not. It's the most tart, so I, I lean that way. But yeah, it does taste just like the carbonated pineapple juice from the can, which is, is good. Yeah, it's got that real pineapple flavor. I don't know how many E's I got in this one. <laughs> Less E's, I would say the least E's in this one. This one has the most E's, this Hawaii, and the Palms somewhere in the middle. But yeah, I can't drink the Palms. I'm sorry. The Palms, undrinkable for me. It's got the most sugar. No. This crushes all the others. Like, if you look at the sugar content, this is 120 calories. This is 71.5. This is 68.7. Oh, so the... So heavy sugar the, on the... The double sugar. Double sugar dose. They'll do it. Gotcha. Um, well, I'm on vacation. Yeah. You're in Morocco, too. It's the way. Oh, yeah. Ah, so are you going to drink any more or are you finish? Go back for seconds on whatever you like. Yeah, finish it, please. There's still a lot in those. If someone does super chat. I'll chug them all mixed together. <laughs> what would we call that? It's the price for that. I forget what we would call that. Three wise men. You go to the, uh, like the Taco Bell or something, and then just do a little of each fountain drink. I don't know what the name for that is, but I'm gonna do the the three wise men right here. I'm gonna do it. I don't think anyone's gonna do super chat, but I just want to see what this would be like. Some apple. Eddie Zakaria, all sugar with a different taste. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> Pineapple and Hawaii. This is possible belly ache. But, uh, doing it for the not super chat coming in. The new combination. It still smells like apple. <laughs> it's a nice. It was a nice change for me um, from just coffee and tea all day. All together is, it's okay. It doesn't clash as much as you think. It just kind of tastes like a panache mixed fruit kind of business going on here. Yeah, I definitely prefer a fresh fruit juice, of course. Yeah, we had some nice orange juice today. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of orange juice here. This guy says when we were kids, we were mixing all the sodas, six or seven kinds of yep. soda. <laughs> That's what I was talking about is you just mix them all together and see how it tastes and it usually... That's not bad. Uh, uh, depends. Rumi! Rumi! Depends how much cola is there. Once you start mixing the cola with the fruit, it's it getting a little weird. Fruits can go together. But yeah, once you get Coca-Cola in there, no. And Jerry, you gotta come drink some soda. Some pop. If you have Hawaii uh, pineapple. That's we what do. she wants. Oh, it's here. They say Hawaii oh, is the best. Now is Coca Cola company. So before it was not Coca Cola, and Coca Cola was like, hey, it's live good. story. We are doing live stream right now. No, but why is it story mode? It recommended it. Said it was the best. Maybe people watching live money. on their mobile. Money, money, yeah, money. there's some money there. Rumi's here in case you can hear. Her I, I voice. don't want her to try them. So you don't want her to try them? No. Makes sense. I think she wants to try them though. Nope, she's not interested. She's gone. Does your cousin recommend visiting Morocco? Absolutely. I already want to come back. Yeah, we we're already talking I, um, about, oh, next time, next time. Yeah, um, I would think, knowing what I do now, um, definitely try and get to a couple new cities, maybe Rabat and Fez, but um, I've been having a fantastic time just eating healthy things and sitting on the beach, not having phone service. That's been great. Proper vacation. We're, today yeah. we're talking if you recommend your mom going to Morocco is what we were saying as well. I think Agadir would be, she would like it. Um, I'm not sure how much she would like some of the more um, less established places like in the middle of nowhere and things like that or a little some of the chaos of marrakesh but agadir is a nice mix of um amenities and uh, beach and things like that beautiful so. weather 
Yeah, a curated experience. We said his mom should go with my mom on a trip to Morocco because my mom's still kind of scared, I think, mm -hmm. uh, if she had a little travel buddy. No, no, my socks. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Yeah, but this is uh, your first experience. And yeah, we're talking about next time. We don't know when that will be, but... Who knows? We talk about this on our live streams before, that Morocco has this, like, magnet. And once people come... They always come back. They always come back. Mm -hmm. Like the guy last night, he said it was eight years. He had a terrible time in Marrakesh for a week, but he's still back here and surfing great waves. We met another American last night, and he was back here for the first time in eight years, and he loved it. Yep, I would like to bring my wife back and show her around here. Now yep. that I know, um, just knowing what she likes and uh, what I could probably skip and things like that. I saw that your cousin didn't like Le Ben that day when he had couscous. <laughs> I like cooking with it, but... Drink it straight? Drinking straight, no. A little too sour for me. In America, we use a lot of buttermilk in cooking, like frying for things. Brine, for brining things, it works. But not drinking it. Like, you never hear of anyone drinking buttermilk. Not really, no. So that's kind of a, a culture shock taste thing that's a bit different. The couscous was amazing, though, so... But really the Leben, that. I don't even like Leben with couscous. Like I don't like drinking. Andre and Rumi drink it, but I just like I'll have a sip to cleanse the palate or something, you know, mm -hmm. get the probiotics in you. But it's not my favorite thing. Uh, people are asking about middle age runaway. I, I told you about him, right? The guy from Texas and oh Rabat. yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't. I, I spoke with him recently. I checked in with him. He said he's doing all right. But yeah, he hasn't made a video in a very long time. Mm -hmm. You see, watching your videos, I live in Montreal and it's negative 10. Yeah, I have a Montreal hat on. Um, I worked up there for about six months in 2014. So I was living in the American South and then went up during the middle of winter to Montreal. And that was uh, an adjustment. But it is a wonderful city. Once it warms up a little bit, the food is amazing. It's pretty. Um, greatly enjoyed my time there. We met a woman from Montreal today. She was from Montreal. Mm -hmm. We saw her on the beach on the promenade, and then we're at Sukalad later, and she was at Sukalad <laughs> doing tourist things. Yeah, but Montreal already negative ten degrees Celsius. Sounds about right. <laughs> Too cold. Too cold. Yeah, yeah. Born and raised in Chicago but now live on the west coast of the United States. I cannot do those winters anymore. I'm I'm weak. Yeah, it's 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 hard to weak. go You're back just... to when it's so cold you can't breathe through your nose. It hurts. It's too much. It hurts to go outside. The wind hurts. There's Coca-Cola light without sugar in Morocco. Yeah, I think they have like Coca-Cola yeah, Zero. Diet Coke. Coke Zero. Coke Zero is, uh, they don't really have Diet Coke when I was down in Belize, but they had Coke Zero, and it was basically, tasted pretty much the same. This guy, Distruck, says, the first couple of days in Morocco, I think, are overwhelming part. Now you get used to how things are. It's true. There's always yeah, some that's, culture that's shock. Fair. Even, like, when I'm here a long time, I go back to the USA, I have culture shock there, then it's like, oof. Yeah, and if you'll notice in the video, too, me kind of looking around and surveying, I'd like to kind of quietly take things in so I can give my best guess on how I should react to a situation. Um, sometimes it, it just gathering information and obviously I stand out. I, I kind of stand up above the crowd so I'm able to kind of survey and see things. Keep it. Um, yeah, today at the uh, souk there was a shirt I was jokingly asking about, and the guy asked if we had my size, and he just kind of laughed at me. So Yeah, there was, we saw the Casablanca Tennis Club. He's yeah, a yeah. tennis player, so we're like, this would be perfect. I like the Mayan pyramid on yeah, it and yeah. stuff. It's like, why is this on here? Yeah, Casablanca it's, Tennis it's Club, weird. Mayan pyramid, some floating tennis balls. Uh, yeah, but the, no, they do not have my size, unfortunately. He didn't even try to, like, oh, maybe my friend. No. Uh, it's, oh, well. I'm just checking out little uh, comments what we missed. People saying hello from different places. They said they could get these sodas at a Moroccan store in Canada. Hmm. So I'm guessing you could probably find these at some international store in Chicago too. 
now that you see him, you know him. Did he try Rafisa? That's still on the it's to-do on the list. to-do list, yeah. We have to definitely... Rafisa and her mom is what we got to be doing today. No. Careful, Morocco is addictive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see that. Uh, what do you think about business opportunity in Morocco? You've been really surprised by the amount of growth and construction. Yeah. You're like, where's this money what coming it? from? Um, What's... Tin- tingier, was it? really surprised me of driving through where there's just it was like hundreds of apartments being put up what felt like the middle of nowhere um yeah that was a little surprising to me just how quickly it's modernizing which you know good and good and bad i guess for some things um you can feel it with uh tagazut and tamarat too things are starting to maybe gentrifies the wrong word but um get some more hotels and resorty things and like that and i think i was saying to you yesterday is that that's just somewhat of the reality of living in a place that people want to visit is that you will start to see that build up and i I live in a place where that's the case and things have gotten really expensive but then at the same time too it's fun to show people around and as long as you're making sure to maintain the culture behind it, it usually is to the benefit of people. And it does, it seems like this is a place that is becoming, is very open and receptive to business and um, doing things globally, so. Yeah, people say, uh, don't forget Morocco hosts 2030 World Cup, yeah. getting ready for 2030 World Cup. That's kind of a big yeah. deal. I was asking, do we know what cities that would be? Maybe Casablanca and Rabat? Or, uh, yeah, if anyone knows anything about that, I'm like, I don't know. My guess would be Tangier, Casa. Pro- probably have to build a bigger stadium, at least expand on a current one, because they have to be huge. I'm sure someone in the chat will definitely know. Look at this, though. Someone saw us this morning and said, what happened to you this morning? I see the guy who hit your car. Oh, the, <laughs> you wanna you wanna explain that one? Uh, it's like you know we park in Agadir. The sign says two dirham day, three dirham night. So you know I gave the guy two dirham when we left, and then he threw it at the car when I was driving away. And uh, you know that's that's not okay. So well, I was gonna get the two dirham. I'm like, okay, if he doesn't want it, I do. I stop. I'm like, what are you crazy? Like, what you know? Why are you throwing this at the car, you know? Should should we get the police? Do you have an issue? And then he got really shy and, you know, I I got the two dirham. And then we went to Sukalad and I think we got screwed on the parking. He won 50 dirham for washing the car and parking. And here in Tamrat or Rear, you pay 40 dirham, you get inside out, outside cleaned. And so I don't know. Yeah, it it was kind of fun to see you get mad though. (laughs) happens sometimes if, yeah, yeah. if you throw something at my car that's that's unacceptable you know that's that's an act of aggression and mm-hmm. i will call you out on it <laughs> I, w- I was confused for sure this guy in the chat was too you know <laughs> uh, but yeah that's what happened it'll be in the the video from agadir today uh and take your cousin to visit a historical place, Badia, where you can see important aspect of Moroccan civilization and its culture. I dropped the ball. I didn't go to the palace. I can always go next time. Yeah. I don't know. I, I avoid museums a lot of times and just try to get the vibe of the world outside. What that's like. As I said, I'm scouting out to bring my wife back here, so we'll, we'll visit it then. So six hosting cities, we got the answer to our question. Mm-hmm. Tangier, Marrakesh, Rabat, Casablanca, Fez, Agadir. Oh, so Agadir. Agadir, is, yeah. I mean, that it, we drove by. That is a large stadium. Yeah. And they say that Casablanca will host the final. Okay. That's oh, that, pretty cool. That'll be cool. Uh, ben Sleeman will be holding a match for sure in the World Cup. They're building a huge stadium. Mm-hmm. So it's coming. Wow, 2030, it sounds like so far away, it'll seven be, years. It'll be here before you know it, though. They have to start construction, like, soon. Yeah. I wonder I wonder if we'll still be in Morocco seven years from now, watching this live stream, and be like, ah, there's your answer. I never know where you're going to be. No. 
Uh, the FIFA insists that the stadium should be within five hours' drive. The cities for the games will be Rabat, Casablanca, Tangier, Fez, Marrakesh. That's what this guy's saying. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, vandalism can happen anywhere, even in the U.S. Yeah, vandalism, but this guy was, like, supposedly working at the parking lot. Yeah. Like, that's a difference of just random vandalism of someone throwing it at your car. It's like, I tried to pay this guy, and then he threw the money at the car. Like, that's that's yeah. different than vandalism. Got, got mad for no reason. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, it's two dirham. I'm like, it was a two dirham I gave you, you know? So he got mad over one dirham, and then... It was really not one dirham, so I gave him two dirham. Silly. Having a bad day. Yeah. Volubis, have you ever heard of this? Volubilius. Mm, it's no. North of Meknes and Fez, and it's like ancient Roman ruins. Oh. Oh, I think I heard about those. Looks real crazy. Yeah. Uh, they say 2026 is USA, Canada, Mexico. Yep. I didn't know that. I'm looking to see if I can go to a game in Seattle. Your cousin seems open-minded in opposition to how he appears in your videos. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I swear, I was tired. It's funny. It's good you get a live stream and you actually get to have your thoughts and not be put on the spot. Well, you're put on the spot, but it's different. Uh, yeah, It's more organic. I mean, you're the only member of my family to ever visit me in Morocco that grants you a certain degree of open-mindedness, I would say, because <laughs> I think uh, that is what allows you to come here. If you're not open-minded, you're not going to come to Morocco in the first place. I would yeah, say. yeah. You would say, no, no, sounds dangerous, sounds far. Same, gonna, same with a lot of places, right? I'm going to go to Morocco, Indiana instead. You know there's Morocco, Indiana? Yeah, there's a Lebanon, Indiana, there's... <laughs> They were not very creative with their There's a Cairo, names. Illinois. Not a nice place. Uh, they need to put Play Park in Stadium for Rumi. Yes, this is true. Uh, they are crocodiles. Yeah, some people are crocodiles. Yes, you will still be here in Morocco with your Jalaba. That's like the hooded mm. cloak thing. Yeah, seven years most likely. What about Meknes for another trip? Meknes is a nice city, but it's under a lot of construction. And it's mm. like... Uh, so maybe when I come back, it'll be... A little finish. more finished. It's one of the old imperial cities like Fez, like Marrakesh. Yeah. And, uh, but it's less, less touristic. It's quite nice. Mm -hmm. A lot of history there. I'm laughing so hard, he says, while smoking some. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we're entertaining to you. Guys, wonder why you did not visit the deep Morocco, especially the East Atlas Mountains. You just focalized on the big cities. Morocco is only that postcards they showed. It's another reality. Yeah, deep Morocco. We try and go places that are nice for Rumi. They, they should have a play park. Some water would be nice. Uh, and yeah, I, getting being on the road is more expensive than being in one place and uh, settling in for a little bit. So we're limited in how much we can travel. So we tend to go to the places that people recommend. So if you have any ideas for us, always drop comments in. Ah, uh, thank you, Grinder. Two euros super chat. Hope you got a question or something. He he, uh, he comments a lot, and then sometimes YouTube will delete his comments, and he thinks it's me. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I know you give me super chats. I'm not gonna mess with that. There's too much. Work. That's too much work. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, surfing culture. What about surfing culture? How do you find it here? Um, besides, when I was walking on the beach and mistaking everyone with the same hair for you, <laughs> um, everyone seems relaxed. Everyone's been very friendly and generous and enjoyable to talk to. So it it is not something that I am necessarily a part of, but I definitely understand its appeal. Um, I, I like just hanging out on the beach and watching people surf, and it seems like everyone is having fun, relaxing. and um, ever, it, Everyone seems like they're a little less on edge when they're out here, which is nice. Um, me, me included. Too. <laughs> From um, the we, first video to now. Yeah, we were joking. Like, I I can't remember where I'm putting anything. I, I, like, can't do math in my head. And it's just like, oh, I guess I must be on vacation brain or something. Good. But it's because I am just uh, living a little more simplistic. 
this guy told me when you come here, you know, your spring is very tight. You mm -hmm. know, if you're coming from a city, he was from London or something, and he's coming from America, it's like very tight. And it takes some time for that spring to unwind and get into the vibe and tempo. And you mentioned patience out here. Having patience is uh, yeah, it's necessary. Yeah, and when you talk about open-mindedness too, also things, especially when the further you're traveling, things aren't going to go right. Like with the suitcases and things like that. It, it just it's hard to keep a schedule and it's important to be able to kind of just roll roll with it and experience what you experience like we basically just randomly found that um barbecue stand in uh what was the name of the city wazazat wazazat yeah that was delicious and then you ran into a yoga teacher and it's like everywhere we've gone even if it hasn't gone 100 percent to our initial plans has it's ended up being from what I can tell, just as enjoyable and a great experience, and everyone's been nothing but friendly, and I, I definitely am a fan of everyone being very enthusiastic and giving me food samples. That, that has been fantastic. You get a lot of samples. Oh, yeah. I, I've enjoyed trying everything. G Grinder asks, is it overwhelming? I would say the Marrakesh Medina a little bit, especially when it was the most crowded, was a tad overwhelming, and that's a little more just, um, just the the density of everyone. Now, I mean, I've been a lot of places around the world, so I think I'm kind of at least used to that certain level of discomfort being out of my standard. United States comfort zone, but I would say it was, but it wasn't what I expected in regard. Like, your lifestyle is exactly what I expected it to be, but that's also because I know you and we talk to each other yeah. and things like that. But um, just the sheer amount of like community friendliness around here, um, and maybe it's from where I've been, but I, I was definitely expecting a little more of like salesmanship and pushing and things like that but it's been nothing but people just being nice generous um, friendly um, everyone everyone seems to want to talk and know how you are and I, I've really enjoyed that I have nothing but good things to say about the people here G Grinder says the culture and these are two things you didn't really touch on the noise no oh. <laughs> as we just listen just yeah. listen to the soundscape behind us um, I mean, I have dogs barking in my neighborhood at home, so that wasn't too much of an adjustment. The cat fights, uh, I'm not used to hearing, but... <laughs> and the smell. There's some smell sometimes, you yeah, the admit it. Yeah, the parking lot, there definitely is a smell. Um, not all the time. It's not heavy and pervasive, but when the wind blows, it's like... It's, there are places I've been where I've smelled some similar things, and it's as long as it's not all the time, you know, it's not, it's not the end of the world, but... Um, Yes, there certainly have been some, we'll call them pungent aromas. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> but also some great smells. Oh, all yeah. The like like being the, the souks of all just have, it's not, a, it's, it's very much an overwhelming scent, but in a good way with the food, the perfumes, leather, things like that. Just the mix of it is... Um, it's exciting to me. It gives me energy, and I'm normally a pretty, you know, reserved person, but it makes me excited to just kind of be in there and experience all the other things at once. And cool. So we've been here 35 minutes already, so it's time to move on off this podcast. The guy said, did you went to Hamam? That reminds us we need to go to the Hamam. This is true. Got obligations at 6 o'clock. It's 3.30 now. That should be plenty of time for Hamam. What do you think? Two hours, plenty to, to travel to and from Hamam, experience that. Uh, how can we donate also? We are under sanctions. I don't know. There's a link in the description. Buy me a coffee if you'd like. It helps keep our travels going and things like that. Obviously, if we have donations, we can do more things besides uh, our daily life, you know. Um, 
keep him in the hot spot for a while, please. <laughs> hey, of the hammam, yes, we'll we'll do that. I think that's what she's talking. Mm-hmm. Johnny, Johnny's watching from Roselle, Illinois. Oh, cool. I think he found the channel from our Stratford Mall video. Uh-huh. He's coming along for the ride, so he's always coming. Hey, Johnny, Thank you for joining from, Johnny. Uh, South Barrington. He know he knows the whole area. Okay, you know. Yeah. So very cool. Hammam time. Enjoy your hammam. Take clementines. That's a good tip. Take some mandarins with us mm. for afterwards. Uh, yeah, now we're hydrated with our palms in Hawaii. With sugar. We're, we're, we're ready for it. Yeah, people say hamam. That's what they want. You ready for hamam? Public yep. hamam. Yep. The real, okay. Mark Viso said he's he's not a public hamam kind of guy, but we'll see. I got to experience once before yeah. I can make that decision. Get the full treatment, he says. I, I don't know. He's got kind of bad back, so I don't know if I'm going to throw him to one of those guys, but... Maybe. They might see you and just walk the other way because you're too big. <laughs> okay. So thank you, everyone, for jo- uh, joining G Grinder. Super thanks for the super chat. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming along for our Moroccan soda taste. And thank you for Michael for being yeah, here, of course. Thank you for being nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.